Tonight, we're getting a look at what was happening during a standoff at a store in Gaston County that ended in an officer involved shooting. And we're hearing from a man held hostage in that store as it all unfolded. Fox 46's Derek Dellinger has been on the story all day. And Derek, this was just the ending of a series of events involving this suspect. Yeah, there's a lot that happened here, and it happened in Cleveland County with an armed robbery. They tracked the suspect uh, over to Cherryville, where there was a car chase and a crash. And then there was a foot chase that involved shots being fired. It ended at a store just outside of Bessemer City where there was this hostage situation and where police say they were forced to fire Chucky Bowden. In this cell phone video taken near the scene of yesterday's standoff in Gaston County, you can see officers outside the Creekside Country Market. In some instances, surrounding the homes nearby and the moments before the shots were fired. But there was someone on the inside who saw and experienced it all. He was saying he didn't care whether he lived or not. So that makes it worse. But you're in that private ride to me. Robert Mormon tells us he was one of the hostages inside the store as this was happening. Investigators say Chucky Bowden had been leading them on a multi county chase between Cleveland and Gaston counties after an armed robbery. Mormon says Bowden was acting normally, like nothing was going on when he saw him until Bowden saw police. That led to a standoff and a plea from authorities outside. He was begging for him to give up, just drop, just drop the gun or, or put the gun to the side and come on out. A standoff that lasted some 20 minutes. Mormon says Bowden had his arms around one hostage's neck. Meanwhile, outside, neighbors were hearing and seeing what was happening. It makes me wonder why he picked out this spot to come to. And others nearby were worried about those inside. The hostages, however, they were not injured. Police say they were forced to fire, though, killing Bowden. He was a felon. And state records show he had spent time in prison on similar charges to all that he was accused of yesterday back in the 80s and 90s. What happened yesterday, though, left people in shock and some still trying to process what happened. It's like you dra dreamed it again yeah. when you sleep. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're not going to forget something. Right? You're not going to forget it. And there's no word yet on how authorities were able to track Bowden down to the store. That store, by the way, was closed today and we could not get a hold of the owner. Alicia.